history, and it's it's a great honor. I've, uh, this is my 20th year, and uh, so uh, the idea in transforming the planetarium where I grew up, and my mother used to drive me in here when I was 10 years old uh, uh, from New Jersey to take classes here at the Hayden, uh, 1971. Uh, that uh, the visualization of the sky and the motions of the sky, something that's untouchable, the celestial realm. The sun, we don't know what it is. It's that big bright thing that comes up every morning. We know that it warms days and it goes away at night and there's nothing telling us it's going to come back. These are the things that the planetarium brought to us. And they were able to recreate this in this fantastical environment. But at the turn of the millennium, as Neil deGrasse Tyson likes to say, we wanted to consider what the planetarium of the 21st century would be. And that meant computer graphic scientific data visualization. That is what we do. That is our business. And Mr. Mickey Hart tonight is going to perform live on top of these data visualizations from our library yeah. of space shows. In the 20 years that I have had the privilege of being here and being in this room, that what we have done is create five shows. I might augment that with one that's underneath us right now called the Big Bang Theater and that Mickey's interest is a scientific interest. And as a master percussionist, he understands that rhythm of time. Keeping that time, playing with that time, and guiding our emotions with it. And he is the maestro of this being, this Pythagorean being. This goes back to roots of our understanding of what music and rhythm is, and it's tremendous and fantastical. I also want to mention that this production, taking our space show material that Mickey is going to play over, is something that uh, has been hard fought with working with scientists to take their information, their simulations of the process of the universe, and visualize that for all of us to experience and be with. But like the dioramas here, there's not just the science of the animals, the science of the background, or the botany, or the physiology. It's the artistry put together that brings us in accord with that and inspires us to want to protect nature and understand it. And that is an important goal of this museum, and this is what we stand by. And the inspiration of working with an artist like Mickey Hart tonight is to bring you in touch with that. I want to remind you that we're all in a dome. So anybody talking? Anybody flashing? Pull out your phones right now. Every one of you. Every one of you. You, 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 you. You. <laughs> Pull it out. Turn it off. Turn it off because that flash is going to light up this entire dome and you do not want to be the person to do that. <laughs> right here we have Michael Menard and Nick Pope. These guys are driving the Millennium Falcon. They're sitting here doing this. These are Mickey's engineers. They're great guys. Nick is an incredible uh, chef, too. He's been out to the, uh, was, was out there in January to collaborate, collaborate, I couldn't believe it, with Mickey Hart at his amazing uh, ranch in Northern California. And it was a beautiful, wonderful time. But tonight, putting together this production, this turned into a bigger production than we thought. And over here, 
members of our Rose Center Engineering and American Museum of Natural History Audiovisual. Please stand up. Russ, stand up, stand up, guys. All the, okay, you guys. They deserve big applause. In particular, Jay Ho Choi, our systems engineer, and Jason Moorfoot, our editor. Because we've had to go back and forth and make this production for tonight. I also want to give a special shout out to NASA. seeing imagery from satellite which is brought to us by your tax dollars <laughs> and it's brought into a system NASA funded the American Museum of Natural History 6.3 million dollars for a five-year grant called open space so the earth flyers overs you will see are from that if you're interested go to openspaceproject.com go there see it but also we are augmented by we are enhanced by <laughs> we're tremendously enhanced in our brains tonight by a visualization of the human brain not anybody's human brain but Mickey Hart's human brain <laughs> by Adam Gazali from the University of California San Francisco and where he is the professor of neurology, physiology, and psychiatry. And, and yes, Adam. <laughs> and also, you will say a few words about the brain image. So thank you. Thank you, Carter. Thanks, everyone. Just a couple words to give you some perspective. I don't want to ruin uh, your, your journey, so I want some of it to just uh, unveil itself for you. But as you will see the powerful rhythms of the universe, there's also powerful rhythms within us, including our brain. We know that the rhythms of the brain underlie everything that makes us human, our memory, our attention, our perception, our emotion. And uh, we, we didn't know that uh, in, in detail until quite recently. And so to share with you the rhythms of the brain, rather than doing so in an abstract way, we thought an exciting way to do it would be to actually see the rhythms of the brain of Mickey Hart. So that's what we've shared with you tonight. This has been a, a long journey for Mickey and I starting over six years ago and really culminating in what you're seeing here. This is, uh, no one's ever seen a brain visualization like this before. So all those colors and flashes you're seeing are rhythms being expressed uh, in Mickey's brain, and that is the structure of his brain as well. So we could talk more in, in the Q&A afterwards if you have any questions about it, but I, I hope you enjoy. Thank you. So with, without further ado, I want to introduce Mr. Mickey Hart, the master of percussion and the maestro of the beat. Thank you, Mickey. <laughs> oh, boy. We're going to have some fun tonight. Thank you so much. Okay. Okay. So, I did, uh, I'll make it brief. What you're really listening to tonight, behind these screens, is the world is is the gold standard in sound reproduction. Um, John and John Meyer, Meyer Sound, same sound system that we use in the dead. This is going. Uh, this will be a sonic. Uh, this will be a sonic uh, wonder. We're going to go down to 15 cycles tonight. So I would say I would advise you just to kind of buckle on.